Well, Commissioner Harrison says his crime fighting plan is battle tested and proven based on best practices. It is scenes like this fueling the perception that Baltimore is unsafe. First of all, that is not true. And Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison points out much of the violent crime the city is seeing takes place between people who know each other. And crime overall, including robbery, is trending down. It is not the correct narrative that when you come into Baltimore, your life is in danger or you're somehow not as safe. I believe that she needs... But many suburban callers to the WBAL Radio C4 program are demanding the Maryland National Guard step in. The National Guard is not trained in urban policing, and so... You know, we're not in the stage where we're having riots. We're not in the stage where we're having massive looting in the city, which is something that they are good at. But for right now, National Guard is not good for urban policing. And considering that this department is under a federal consent decree, <clears throat> it's strange to hear people say that they want the National Guard to come in. And that's not what they do. Commissioner Harrison has two crime fighting plans. One is a specific crime reduction strategy. The other is a blueprint to transform the department. He characterizes them as battle tested and proven on best practices. People are already saying we see more police, we see them doing something different. Now we just have to stay on top of our accountability measures and performance metrics to see that they're actually doing it. We're holding them and supervisors and ourselves accountable. He's hiring a new commander for the academy and an academic director. On a pilot basis, he letting, he's letting commanders make the call when it comes to minor rule violations instead of internal affairs. And there's a new emphasis on technology. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.